the first game, though, we had the Lakers and the Pelicans, as we discussed. I do, though, want to just bring up this moment from Anthony Davis late in this game as the Lakers, they were up big. But Anthony Davis, watch him here. He's really kind of just standing there, but ends up grabbing his back at the end of this play. He would call for a substitution, not return to the game. Darvin Ham said afterwards that Anthony Davis was dealing with spasms. He said it was nothing major, and he is, quote, extremely optimistic about Davis moving forward. But considering how much they were up by in this one, Stephen A., it's a little bit concerning to see. Well, it's concerning to see because you know you can't, you don't have a snowball's chance in hell of doing anything significant if you don't have Anthony Davis. The flip side to that, however, is that the elevated level of concern that we would we would customarily have certainly that would be the case if this were a 9-10 game mm. but it's not and last but not least you're going up against the Pelicans and so we don't know if Anthony Davis is needed in order to beat the Pelicans because for he some reason be needed, they, listen, I, 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 for be. some reason when the Pelicans see the Lakers they freeze. They're not who they're supposed to be. What does that freeze That's sound like, Mark? What does it freeze. sound like? Yeah, but there we go. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> the Lakers find themselves in a unique situation right now. Right, right. They beat the Pelicans. They move to the what? Seven spot. Right. Oh, right. And then all and of then a sudden. Go home in first. They play, quote, unquote, their daddy. That's what Mike That's Malone right. call it, right? The That's Nuggets. Right. That's right. They haven't beaten them since the month of Neverwhere. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> when I think about that matchup, do the Lakers really want to Do you really want to win, win, win the game? Okay. Okay. You might want the Lakers are not good right. enough to manipulate <laughs> the play -in. That part. To wind up saying, oh, we'll yeah, take but they a may pass. Not know better. But they may not know better. Well, because then you mess <laughs> around and find out. Because, because what happens with AD against the bonus? And if that was the matchup, what did we just see happen when they faced off against the Golden State Warriors? Totally Would you take you. that gamble? I totally agree with you. But if I got the, the if the gamble is one of those opponents Sack. for the Denver Nuggets, <laughs> I'm going to roll with those <laughs> at the Sacramento <laughs> or Golden State. I'm going to take my chances mm. because we've seen what, what, you know, what, what Denver does well, to the Well, let me just Angeles take a, a quick second to say, that's a double, that double header, Tuesday night. Special. It's like a football double header when you, you know it's not automatic elimination for two of those teams. But that's a wow. There's pressure yep. automatically. Yep. You got big names and you got reputations. And the New Orleans Pelicans are playing for something. Because if they lose again to the Lakers at home, what do you do with that squad? Mm -hmm. Do you do you let them run it back per no. if they can't even no. get to the playoffs because they can't beat the Lakers at home? No, you don't. And then C.J. McCullen again. He's getting older, right? One of the older guys on there. And, again, it's about finding that balance. How do you make this offense work with Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson? Zion Williamson is at his best when he's at the point forward. Will's, will Brandon Ingram take a back seat? We have to see.